We're at uh, Digital Hollywood Spring 2013 with Zochi Arkin, who is with the Alchemy Networks, and she just finished speaking on her panel. Tell us a little bit about Alchemy and maybe what you talked about on the panel about. Okay, uh, Alchemy is a, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, the Alchemy Networks is a uh, multicultural network focused on uh, really two audiences, uh, general market, 18 to 34 with a focus on or at least a specialty in music and lifestyle and the 18 to 40 year old uh, African and 18 to 40 year old African American women uh, in particular uh, hair and beauty and uh, even more specifically natural hair and beauty. We aggregate channels and in addition we, to that we create content. Uh, most of the content we've created thus far is general market content uh, focused on music and lifestyle and also focused on, uh, we done a, we're creating a rap battle network which is a series of, uh, of, of events and a uh, tier system of, uh, it'll be, it, it's basically a tiered league of, of rap battles. So. so it's kind of like the voice of rap. <laughs> A little bit. I would say it, it, it's a little bit of a voice of rap, but more than that, it's a little bit like um, for basketball fans, uh, the Rutgers in New York, which is a street basketball league. It's a little rougher. It's a little. It's a little. Uh, more. It's a little less glitzy. I. I think uh, that's probably a better equivalent. The Rutgers and the other, I think, would be maybe. Uh, it's it's a uh, it's the equivalent to what punk was in the 70s. It's it's uh, a little more anti-establishment, but uh, but it's really it's really also not. It's a lot of young writers and poets, and that's how they express themselves. So, but but it's through this competitive environment, and they do a lot of stuff online. So we've been able to tier that and create something. Very interesting. Um, tell us a little bit more about the origins of Alchemy Network, and what do you do for the company and and um, maybe just in general where it's going from here. Okay, um, so uh, I am the uh, Chief Operating Officer. Alchemy has Alchemy started, I think, now at every 2013. The end of 2011 um, uh, was started by our CEO, Peter Griffith, who, uh, as a partnership with YouTube, we were one of the uh, funded YouTube channels. That, that for to create premium content, we partnered with at that time uh, Buna Murray Productions to create a digital studio and started creating content. We always wanted to aggregate channels, and what we have found is that creating content is is a lot of fun. It's a great way to uh, it's a great way for young people to really express themselves creatively. It's a great uh, environment to to create a dialogue with the content but there are a lot of people who individually are doing amazing things and as individuals they're they have a powerful voice but their reach is limited but collectively all those individuals create each one of them is a ripple and uh, together they create a huge wave, which is, you know, a rip from Robert Kennedy, but he's right. <laughs> yeah. And it fits. Yeah. And so, um, in terms of other funding for Alchemy um, and just the, the growth and operation of the network, which you're in charge of, um, what are some of the plans? Because now that the YouTube gave the initial funding, then what? Okay, so, um, yeah, I'm glad you actually asked that. We started with, as I said, the YouTube funding. Since then, we have gotten additional funding um, and have expanded our network and are now in the process, actually, of, of that expansion. What we're really focused on is, m my particular focus is, we really, f is, the, is the hair and beauty space and the, these, and natural hair and beauty. There, there are, it's, a, it's a huge market that is really yet to be explored in the general market. It's 
and these women have a very collectively powerful voice and a, a really trusted voice. So there are so many products out there that people want to try, and they're not cheap. They're really not cheap, and and nobody wants to spend. Nobody's going to spend uh, thirty dollars on a hair conditioner without understanding and, and having a quality recommendation that actually is meaningful. So what we have begun to really focus on, and as we expand, is um, one the audience and just to have that reach. But in addition, to really demonstrate that we have touch. So a two-way communication and the ability to make that reach me. So I think that uh, as that's what we've expanded into. A lot of that is um, partnerships with, uh, with uh, different brands and different advertisers. Uh, we never force our partners to participate. It's because uh, part of their voice and part of their value is really their honesty. And we don't really want to compromise that. So. But a lot of it is a lot of product integration where it makes sense. And we are continuing to, to build out and create content. So I guess the funding strategy is uh, raising money from sources of funding and continuing to grow revenue and maybe integrating commerce. Well, I don't think that we are, uh, we, we have raised additional fund funding, but at this point we are looking to actually be able to sustain the business and create <laughs> create revenue streams that will sus will sustain the business without having to get additional funding. Our goal is to actually have a business that works. And I think a lot of times digital businesses um, intellectually work better than they do in practice and that's not what we're looking to do at this stage. Both uh, Peter and myself have uh, worked in the digital space for a long time and have have seen things work intellectually that don't work practically. We've also seen it the other way and I think that I think that I don't want to speak for him but I think we can I will speak for him and I'll speak for myself and saying I like it when they work practically. <laughs> so I, I think that uh, additional funding is never is not not necessarily a bad thing but that's not really what we're looking for at this point. We're looking to be cash flow positive. <laughs> Yeah, and, and that's really terrific strategy because I think many companies out there, whether they were started by talent themselves or whether they were started by other entrepreneurs like you and Peter, um, I think will look to you as an example of what's possible in the digital space and in, in media and entertainment in general. So that's where it's going. I hope so. Yeah. Thank you for sharing this with us. Thank you.